In today's gaming news, Transistor is feature complete and on track for 2014, Nintendo reveals Hyrule Warriors, and a fan-made remake of Jurassic Park Trespasser is in the works. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. Force here with your day's gaming news. First up today, Transistor from Supergiant Games, the company that made Bastion, is currently feature complete and on track for 2014. According to a post on the game's website, uh, right now Transistor is in alpha state where it's just about all of the content systems and features we have in mind are implemented in some fashion. The game is playable from beginning to end. So they are on track for release for next year and they're you know more or less done they've got to add some more things and polish it up and of course there's still much much more work to go in but it looks like we'll be hearing something about the, when the game will be available sometime relatively soon no time frame was given but they said to stay tuned for more information so we expect more information it'll eventually come and then we'll learn about when it's playable and that you know We'll eventually get to play it. Anyways, it's pretty exciting. I think Transistor looks amazing. I loved Bastion. Uh, I really, they haven't done me wrong so far, so I'm looking forward to their next title. And again, it, it's looking at this point like it's going to be a good game as well. Next up in news, do you like The Legend of Zelda? Do you also like Dynasty Warriors? Oh, no? Well, if you happen to like both, you should be excited because Hyrule Warriors, tentative name, has been announced. Now, this is a collaboration between Nintendo and Tamco, and it is going to be essentially Zelda-skinned Dynasty Warriors. Oh crap. Uh, a video was released showing off some a bit of gameplay, which pretty much confirms uh, what, what we've been told so far about the game, that it's going to be uh, Zelda in a Dynasty Warriors environment. I, my only concern with all of this information is that, good lord, Dynasty Warriors? That was your choice? I am not adverse to the notion of a action-focused Zelda game, but, but man, man, Dynasty Warriors? Now I know that the franchise gets a lot of crap, and Many people would say rightfully so, and I can't lie, I've had fun playing Dynasty Warriors games in the past, but I think they, they probably could have just picked a better, you know, something else. I, I just, I've got a really bad feeling the cross-section here, there's lots of Zelda fans. There's some Dynasty Warrior fans. Who's gonna... Like, I feel like the Dynasty Warrior fans might be disappointed in that Zelda collaboration, although, if anything, they, they would probably be excited because... Who doesn't love Zelda? But I'm really concerned about the Zelda fans. I'm really concerned that they're gonna go into this thing thinking, "Oh yeah, another Zelda game." Uh, what? What? What the hell is this? What's? Why there are seven thousand people on screen, and why am I killing all of them in one attack? I, I just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I'd like to know what you guys think, though. A collaboration, a Zelda-skinned Dynasty Warriors game. Is it something you'll be interested in? Now the name is currently tentative, uh, but the game is set to come out. In 2014 on the Wii U. I'm surprised that they're releasing trailers with tentative names, but that is uh, what they did, so there you go. And last up in news today, do you remember Jurassic Park Trespasser? I do. It's a game where you can put your arm out like this, and then you control your wrist, and you're holding a gun, and you try to, you try to move the gun around, and you try to control it, and you try to shoot the dinosaur before it kills you, and then also when you fall and you get injured, you have to look down at your chest because apparently you've got a tattoo that displays your current health. I, I don't know. The game was crazy. It was off the wall. It was bananas. And it was pretty broken. But I loved it. And a fan-made recreation of that very game is currently in the works. This is titled Trustpassing. It's been in development since 2007. It has updated visuals as the game is being developed on CryEngine 2, and it also connects all of the previously separate levels in the game that had loading screens into one seamless world. Holy crap, I didn't know about this. It has been in development since 2007. I did not know about this. I want to play this thing. This sounds so cool. Updated visuals. I, taking a look at some of the screenshots that were released, it looks pretty. I mean, it's CryEngine 2, so it looks like CryEngine 2. But to take to make this seamless recreation of this wonky game that I have fond, fond childhood memories of, maybe it's just because of the. I don't know, but I, I, I liked the game. I thought the game was actually generally, um, I felt immersed in it. It was, it was, it was pretty fun. I mean, it was crazy because, again, you, you literally, like, you put your arm out like this, and then, like, you're holding something, and you got to go, it was just, it was nuts. But I, this is really exciting news for me. So I'm going to keep an eye on this project. I'll let you guys know 
how its development goes and when and if it eventually becomes released. But yes, Trespassing, a fan-made recreation of Jurassic Park Trespasser. It is happening. And that's going to do it for today's episode of the show. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to comment in the comment section below about any of the topics discussed here today. Once again, this has been Force, and you have just been Force-fed. I mean, seriously, the game was, it was pretty broken. Like, what, what was this? Why would, who's, how was this a good idea? You have to, like, angle your wrist to, and you missed all the time because you just get the slightly wrong angle. And imagine if, like, real life, like, I had to pick stuff up. I had to go, like, uh, okay, got my cell phone here. All right. Hello? Hello? Oh, one second. Hello? <laughs> it's freaking crazy. I love it, though. I love it.